Congratulations, love is in the air and everybody is getting engaged. And I wanna show you how to create a stunning save the date wedding invitation video that'll get guests excited for your big day. Using an After Effects template, I'll guide you step-by-step step on how to create a professional looking video in no time. So grab a coffee, sit back and let's get started. So I'm gonna be going over this template and I've linked it in the description down below so that you can follow along. There's a lot of different templates that I like, but this one is a little bit more classy and chic. But if you wanted to go for a little bit of a different style, I've left a link to a few other varieties because they all work roughly the same way. So once you download your template, the first thing that you wanna do is make sure that you install the font that's located in this fonts folder. Probably part of the reason that you like the look of this template is because of the style and all of the little details. And part of that is the font. So double click on this font file to find a link where you can download this font. Copy and paste it into your browser. And once it's downloaded, double click on that font to install it on your computer. Now all we have to do is go up to the After Effects folder and double click on the After Effects template. And here we've got a sequence that if we just start playing through it, it goes through a bunch of different scenes like photos of the couple, the date of the wedding, and other info like the venue location and the name of the couple. But yours probably will be blank. You need to fill it in with your own information because it's all 100% customizable and super easy to do. Let's start off with the text. If you wanted to change any of the text in this template, all you have to do is go up to the project panel and drop down the edit comps folder. And there should be a folder labeled title or text. Drop down this toggle to reveal even more compositions and choose one that you'd like to edit. Double click and now you can see the text that you can change. And all you have to do is double click on it and type in what you want it to say. So for me here, I still want it to say save the date. So I'll leave this one and go on to another. Here we have the date number of the event. So let's pretend that this wedding is happening on the 19th of the month, just that easy. Now let's go to the next one and change the month and the year. So we've made just some small changes, but if we wanted to go back and see how our changes look, we can go back to our wedding intro composition here. And if you can't find it, just go up to the finals folder and double click on this composition. Now you can scrub through and see how it looks. And our changes appeared immediately just that easy. And changing things like the venue and the name of the couple is just that easy as well. But probably the biggest missing piece should be the blank spaces here in between all the information. And this is an opportunity for you to place in your own images. And the best part is that that is even easier. To bring in your own media, just go up to File, Import, File. But an even easier way, in my opinion, is just to take the media from your computer and drag and drop it right into the project panel. And I'm just gonna quickly keep it organized by creating a new bin here, labeling it media, and dragging and dropping all of my images into this folder for organization. And now to place these into your video, you can go up to this folder here for images, and you can either double click on a sequence to place an image in, or you can just click and drop a desired image right over top of the composition for it to automatically be placed down and immediately you should see that it appears in your larger video. And if the sizing is too small or too large in your finished video, you can actually adjust the size of the image in the composition you place it into. You can do that by clicking the photo or the photo layer down here and hit the S key. Now you can scale your image down or up. Now let's just place in a few more photos to make this template look complete. Awesome. And keep in mind that if you wanted to, you can actually place down videos as well, and they'll work just as well. Just make sure that they're long enough to be visible the whole time so that they don't disappear while you're watching them. Great, so we've changed the text, we've added in our own images, but now if you wanted to touch it up and make it look exactly like you want, you can actually add a few more changes. First thing you should notice is that your images are in black and white by default. I really like this look, but if you wanted to change it, you can go up here to the color folder and double click on this composition. And now if you highlight this layer and go up to effect controls, you have a bunch of editing options for your entire video. You can change the color of text elements and graphics from black to whatever color you'd like. And the same thing for the background. Maybe you wanted white text on a dark background. Well, you can actually do that. You have complete control over what this looks like. But for me, I liked the original way, so I'm just gonna switch it back. Next up, like I mentioned before, you can actually put the color back in your images if you don't like the black and white theme. We included a slider so that you can reduce the color from your photos just a little bit, have it fully black and white, or just have full original color. 
your choice, and anything in between. And we also included an option for adjusting the strength of the paper background texture in this template. If you didn't notice it at first, it's really subtle, kind of like the cardstock of a fancy letter, but you can also change this to something more embroidered or any of these four different styles. Choose which one you like and choose how strong the texture appears with this slider here. And finally, you can change the hue of different elements like the flowers if there's a particular color theme that you're working with. And lastly, we have the song. By default, we have a preview song playing underneath your video to set the mood, but you can also choose to remove the song or change it by going up to the sound option and double clicking on this composition. Now you can either keep this track, delete it to have a silent video, or replace the track by dropping in your own music. Just make sure to drag it forwards or backwards so that it starts and ends where you want it to, as the whole video is only about 30 seconds long. You should be able to hear the beginning and end sections by just dragging the playhead to the beginning of the composition to hear where your music would start. Then drag it to about the 25 second point to hear the last five seconds of the composition. And if you just can't seem to hear any audio coming out of After Effects at all, it's actually a common problem that many people experience and we have a whole tutorial covering exactly how to fix it and I've linked it in the description below. So now you've changed your text, added in your own images, customized it to your liking, and added your own song. Congratulations, your video looks awesome. And now all that's left to do is go up to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. And I also personally like to export it with the settings you can change by clicking here. And I like to set it to QuickTime, Animation. Then once you've done that, you can click on this section here to name and choose the export location for your video file. Now all that's left to do is hit render and congratulations, you've created a full save the date wedding invitation to send to your family and friends. And if you needed any more help with exporting inside of After Effects in general, we have an entire tutorial covering that process from start to finish. And like I mentioned before, I've linked this template as well as my top three favorites in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and congratulations on the big news.